Hi everyone, so in this video I am going to quickly outline the major differences between the multivariate Bernoulli event model and multinomial event model. Right? So what we said in the uh, multivariate Bernoulli event model is that suppose someone is generating a spam email, right? So let's say uh, offer for you, let's say this, this is a spam message, right? So how the message is being generated we compute the probability of that message right so what we do uh, let's say there is a dictionary which contains uh, let's say 10,000 words right and we are generating this message right so in multivariate Bernoulli event model uh, suppose a spammer is generating this message he will first assume what is the probability of uh, a spam email right so the prior that y is going to be spam right next he is going to iterate over all the words right this 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 and he is going to check he is going to multiply the probabilities of these words if they are in spam class right so it is uh, going to be multiplied so suppose it has some feature vector of this this form right so this feature vector is going to be of size mod v right for this simple sentence right so let's say this corresponds to the word offer this corresponds to the word for and this last corresponds to the word you right so it each feature is going to have two values zero or one if we include that word or not right so these words are not included so we are going to multiply right so the probability of including a particular word in in a particular class right so this this what this is what we know right so the probability of not including this word in this class is going to be 1 minus p of xi given y is spam right so this is the probability that xi has been included given y is spam and this is the probability xi has been excluded given y is spam right so what is the probability of generating this sentence so this probability can be written as uh, p of xi given y equals to spam raised to the power b where b denotes whether that word was present or not right so i am combining these two equations into one right so you can uh, substitute the value of b and verify yourself right that th this is fine right into raised to the power 1 minus b into probability of spam so this is the prior probability right so this is the probability of generating the entire sentence right then maximizing the likelihood estimates we got one formula right so this is the likelihood right and the product of all probabilities from i equals to 1 to mod of v right so remember here we are multiplying v number of times where v is the vocab size and this is not the case when we work with the multinomial event model right so we also saw the formula for uh, this thing right so this formula after maximizing the likelihood parameters comes out to be this right so you have to count the number of docs having class C and contain the feature XI over total number of docs in the class C and these two are the Laplace uh, terms added due to the Laplace correction which I have explained earlier right so you you get get the formula right so formula is same as above and what happens in multinomial event model right so the formula will be similar but not exactly same right so formula you have seen this is the form right so the formula for the conditional probability is this and what we do in multinomial uh, model is we do not create a vector like this right we just uh, let's say there is again this example offer for you we are just going to multiply p of xi given y right 
into p of i right so this prior probability remains the same but now this term right this probability comes from a multinomial distribution right comes from a multinomial distribution right and this is not same as this right here also we multiply these probabilities p of xi given y into p of y and here i goes from 1 to vocab size and xi is a boolean vector right xi is a boolean vector and if xi is 1 right we take the probability if xi is 1 we uh, multiply with the probability xi given yi but if this is 0 then we multiply let's say this is the jth term this is the ith term so then we multiply this with this probability uh, 1 minus p of xj into y right so you can see it is a product of probabilities how many times vocab size right the vocab size right so we are multiplying probabilities and if if a particular word is not included so we take what is the probability of not including that word right if a particular word is included we take what is the probability of including that word right but in this case right if you have a sentence or a document which says offer for you right we just compute what is the probability of word offer given the class is spam right and now this comes from a multinomial distribution and this is computing using the formula that we dis uh, discussed in the last video right so it is basically the term frequency of that term in all the documents which belong to that class the number of times the word xi is appearing in all documents having class as c divided by this term right so this is how you compute p of xi given c and here this product right this product is uh, going from i equals to 1 to n right so here there is a different definition right so if x is a vector x is a vector like this offer for you x1 x2 x3 right so there will be only product of three terms the first term is offer the second term is for the third term is u right so it will be a product of p of x1 given y equals to spam right into p of x2 given y is spam into p of x3 and that's it right and there won't be any terms like this right so this product will be over n values and these n values can differ for every document right so can differ for every document right but in this case this product is over v terms where v is the size of the dictionary and it is same for all the documents right so i hope the major differences between um, bernoulli event model and multinomial event model are uh, clear to you guys now you can uh, try to experiment with both the models and you can check which which model gives you better results right so in general it has been observed that this model performs better right if vocab size is relatively large right if vocab size is large right but it also depends upon the choice of features right and what kind of features are you using are you using bigrams right or are you using unigrams or are you you using tfidf weights right so you have to experiment right so it in general this model performs better and you have to experiment with the features and if you want to use tf idf as features so in this term instead of tape, taking term frequency you can use the weighted term frequencies which is the basically the product of tf and idf in first document frequency right so you can also experiment with 
that kind of thing right so all right guys uh, thanks for watching i hope you would be able to build your model and i will see you in the next video